next in your system is uh, well your insulation layers. So this thing here is uh, a big down jacket. As you can see, it's got a huge amount of uh, warmth to it. So this is something which I use on Denali, or I'll be taking my one to Aconcagua, um, you know, Everest Base Cat and things like that, where it's getting really cold and you want to trap that warmth in your body. Uh, down is, is pretty much the best for uh, what, we, what we call it is lofting. So it, it puffs up, traps the air, and uh, keeps that warm air next to your body without letting it escape. Um, all good down jackets should have a hood on them. Um, and you know, the idea is to basically insulate yourself completely from the elements. So you just got this little peephole for your, your face to poke out. You put the hood on like that. You see a technical garment will want to wrap around and sort of tuck underneath your chin like that. All sorts of draw cords to cinch it up and, and uh, adjust it. Um, nice big pockets are a good feature on these. What's a jacket like that and run, roughly? Uh, there's quite a range. This one here is 340 retail. Mm -hmm. um, you can pay up to $500 for a top of line jacket. There's a difference in quality and it's usually uh, goose down, silver goose down is the, is the uh, top of the line stuff. And they give it a rating, uh, usually it's written on the jacket somewhere, it might ha say something like 800 fill or 900 fill. The higher you go up in that rating scale, the warmer it's going to be. And that just means that it's high quality down, so the little fibres of the, of the feather, the down feather, puff up more. Something like this would be perfect for Denali. It'd be maybe a little overcoat for something shorter like, say, Baker or Mount Rainier uh, in the 14,000 range. But uh, we use a lot of the time synthetics in the Cascades. Uh, the, the only issue with down is that even though this fabric's reasonably water resistant, if it gets wet, uh, you know, clump up and, and down will cease to be effective. Um, so synthetics are good because once they get wet, they, they still stay warm. Something on this on high altitude climbs. Um, other than that, it's going to be uh, kind of overkill. You know, this would take you to uh, sort of minus minus 30 range, minus 40 Celsius. Celsius, yeah, or Fahrenheit and Celsius equal equal out at minus 40. But, uh, so this is the the big guns. Beyond this guy, then you're looking at like a full-on down suit. Teaming that up with an insulation layer like this. Uh, would easily be enough. And the, the great features on down pants these days, there's a, there's a uh, Bombay zip door here. So, you know, if you need to answer the call on nature up in the mountains, uh, mid climb or something, that just unzips. You can unclip your harness uh, and go to the toilet, which is a really good feature. So you've got uh, a waterproof zip on the side here, which is full length. So you can actually put it on while you're standing up and if you have your boots on with sharp pointy crampons, you don't need to slide your foot through and risk tearing the fabric. It just wraps around and zips up. So that's another feature you'd look for. Um, in the bigger garments that are slightly heavier, you have like a bib system that hangs off your shoulders, you know, like, uh, like breeches, and it keeps your pants from riding down because uh, you want it overlapping, so underneath your jacket to be a, an effective system. That's down as well. And, once again, synthetic is really good. I, I wear uh, the compressor pant for most of my stuff. Um, I only ever take down on Denali. Um, Denali is very, very cold mountain. So you, most of your mountains you use synthetic? Most, most of them, most yeah. Of them. Okay. Uh, just because that's kind of overkill, it's hard to move in them without overheating. Um, so you want a slightly thinner pant, something like uh, just a little thinner. You can feel that stuff, it's a, it's a synthetic fill as opposed to the down. And so once again, that when it's wet, is much more effective at keeping you warm. So if you're just getting into mountaineering, something like this is going to cover you um, on 90% of your climbs. 